Hello, I'm Necro, and today I'll be walking you through the Adventurer's Tome Collectibles of Log Hill. So there's a couple things to mention before we get started. The collectibles that you'll see at the top of the Adventurer's Tome, right here, these can drop from any mob in the zone, and by waiting until you finish the entire Adventurer's Tome for, in this instance, Rathramas, you'll save yourself a lot of time because you'll be killing a lot of mobs along the way who will then drop some of the collectibles you'll end up needing. We're going to start out at the southmost triport area, the Fiona Plains. Start by heading south until you reach your first vista. It'll be right before the jump. Afterwards, go ahead and make the jump, and continue just a little bit to the east, right beside of this pillar where you'll find your first Makoko seed. If you head just a little bit further north, you'll find these white birds. The one you're looking for is the lead white red beak, denoted by this symbol above its head. All the monsters that I'll be calling monster marks that go to the adventurer's log will be marked by this symbol. They respawn relatively fast, so if you don't see it on the first pass through, just wait a second and kind of run around in a circle a little bit, and I'm sure it'll turn up. After that kill, you're going to come to the northeast where this rock outcrop is, and to the left of it, you'll see another Makoko seed. Just to the southeast, between these two ferns and past some birds, you'll find an investigate symbol. Click it, your character will search, and you'll pick up a disgorged lump, which we'll take back to Pride Home later to the cooking person so that she can give us one of our cooking items, the protein-packed white bird stew. From here, we're going to be following the north path all the way around until you arrive at this vista beside the altar. Now we're going to teleport back to Fiona Plains. From here, head to the north and take a right until you get to the bandit encampment. To the left, you'll clear out some bandits and check this broken wall for a Makoko seed. Once you've got your seed, run to the other side where you'll find another monster mark, the Toxiclaw Explorer. Leaving the abandoned encampment, we're going to go north. Keep an eye out for this statue by this tree. By this statue, there's a golem that spawns. In my experience, it's a pretty slow spawn, so he might not be there right away, so have some patience. But after he does, kill him, and you'll notice a jump marker pop up. Hop over the wall here, and behind this, you'll find two Makoko seeds. Next, we'll be taking a triport to the Log Hill Outpost. Mount up, cross the border on the minimap. And we're gonna head straight to this bridge where we'll find a vista. And a Makoko seed. Now slightly to the northeast, you'll see another jump marker on the map. 
Head here and you'll find another vista. Now teleport to the Traveler's Nook Triport. We'll be heading just slightly north to this little coil of rope, where you'll notice a small book beside of it. Click that and you'll see that we get a Knight in Shining Armor 1 of 3. Now something that was brought to my attention after last video is that the hidden timer is not actually hidden, but you can see it above your buff bar. Right across the threshold, if you check the forest to the left, you'll see underneath some trees a knight in shining armor 2 of 3. To find the final chapter, we're going to have to go to the Rethramas border part of the map, to the Regrium Monastery Triport. Once you're here, we're going to go south to this encampment. You'll see these plague patients behind them inside this bush, beside this cart. Once you search it, you'll see a knight in shining armor 3 of 3. Now teleport back to the Traveler's Nook Triport. Just a little bit past where you found the first book, you'll find another monster mark enemy, the Lead Crow Claw. Slap it, and now we're going to head to the far northwest. In the northwest corner of the map, you'll run across this path blocked by some branches. In order to access this path, you're going to need the forest's minuet, which is a reward from the quest associated with Lullaby Island. If you have the song, all you'll have to do is stand in front of these branches, use the song, and they'll recede, allowing you access to the seeds. If you don't, just come back later when you do have it. Again, from Traveler's Nook, we're going to our pin ultimate destination. Take the road to the right, past these bandits and their barricade, until you're able to pass this far right barricade. You'll see this little fern, that's how you know you're on the right track. Underneath this tree right here, if you kind of wiggle around a little, you'll find the look button, and this is the last Makoko seed. Our final destination in Log Hill is going to be the Toxic Claw Caverns. Now, one quick note before I hop in here. When I open the Adventurer's Tome, you'll notice that there are symbols for the normal and hard difficulty modes. Both of these difficulties must be completed in order for you to get full completion on your Adventurer's Tome. Make sure you finish the dungeons even after you've gotten all the collectibles, otherwise it won't count towards this progress. Start off by jumping down two times, and if you look to the left, you'll see a seed. Continue progressing the dungeon objectives as you make your way up the path, and the first nook here will have another seed. Just to the south of that, you'll see another seed. Once you make it to this ladder, go ahead and climb up. Walk a little forward, and beside these paintings you'll see another seed. Just to the right of the seed you'll see another monster mark, the Toxiclaw Elite Archer. S slap him down and take a quick detour to the left into this other nook, where you'll find another seed. Proceed onward, and finally, kill these last few enemies to arrive at about this point in the map where you'll find your last Makoko Seed. Make sure you finish the dungeon at this point. And that's it, you've done it! 100% of Log Hill is now complete. If this video helped you at all, a like would mean a whole lot. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to do better. Otherwise, that's it for me, I'll see you in the next one.